Super fresh, local produce is at the heart of a new business that has taken off in the West Sussex countryside. Established by friends James Meldrum and Simon Croft three years ago, Crumbs has expanded from a tiny cabin on the site of a garden centre to a much bigger purpose-built shop. As much of the stock as possible is sourced from farms within a 50-mile radius, so it's fresher and better tasting. Why ship stuff from North Scotland or from south of France, where most of our produce comes from, when it's been grown on your doorstep? Because supermarkets aren't able, because of their logistics, to source stuff locally, not truly locally anyway. So we could create a USP, a, a unique selling point in a business, by sourcing stuff within a very small, uh, small sphere, as it were. Um, and uh, we could ship stuff in, we could either pick it up or have it delivered, but it would be picked when it's fresh. It's better for you because it's fresh and it doesn't travel, you know, ultimately it doesn't travel too far, so you do have that sort of kind of green footprint issue as well. Crumbs is a low food miles champion. Everything in the shop has a food miles card to inform customers how far it has travelled and consider how much fuel this has used. Buying produce from local suppliers means less fossil fuels are consumed when sporting goods from farm to shop. Different colours indicate distances. The green label highlights everything from the local area. In winter, more has to be sourced from further afield, but wherever possible, crumbs are committed to buying locally. It used to be that the Garden of England was Kent. The Garden of England is now the south of France. Most, of, A lot of our product comes from the Mediterranean, from the south of France, because it's cheaper to get it from there, even if they add in the, sort of the fuel cost. And of course, fuel is not taxed from an, from an aviation point of view. So they're burning up a huge amount of fossil fuel just to bring stuff in when it's produced locally. So what is the point of bringing stuff from the south of France or from Spain when you've got it right here on your doorstep? And I think as a, as a business we want to say to, to, the, to the public at large, you can buy really good produce in this country. There is really good stuff to be had. Just look around. Don't be sort of, sort of sucked into the sort of kind of supermarket um, sort of way of thinking. In the past year, Crumbs has seen demand double and it now attracts over 900 customers a week. As well as a customer loyalty card, they've also launched the first ever local fair trade initiative for farmers and producers. The LTF pays a price that covers the true cost of production plus a premium of at least 5% to facilitate long-term investment in their farm. The scheme has helped one of England's last remaining dairy farms stay in production. James and I think that for too long there have been businesses like Southview Dairy who have, not be, who have not been able to get a fair price. And so what we're doing with the local fair trade mark, it's very embryonic, it's very early stages. We've got three participating producers. We're engaging our customers to see what they think of it and uh, we're hoping that the mark will become more widely known. We're hoping that other retailers will say, I'd like to use that mark, I'd like to sign up to your principles. And essentially what we're doing is we're taking fair trade, which is, which is the mark for developing countries to reinvest in farms, fairer price, etc. And we're trying to apply that to a developed country's rural business. As well as being a retailer, Crumbs also grows its own produce in a nearby garden. Seasonal fruit and vegetables are cultivated and harvested by Simon James before being transported just two miles to the store, making it very local and very fresh. Crumbs has developed a small but successful wholesale arm, supplying six restaurants and cafes with more in the pipeline for this year. This year um, I've begun, I've, got, I've been in touch with three or four restaurants. I'm very keen to bring more people on board because they are finding that wherever they go, they are hearing about the benefits of buying from local producers. And they're beginning to see you know, that the cabbages that are pulled out of the ground or are leeks, which we cut down and literally are available within hours of being cut, they can get access to that. The Millhouse Hotel and Restaurant is located a few miles from the Crumb store and prides itself on using the finest ingredients. Owner Kim Johnson was so impressed with the food quality and freshness at Crumb's, he's now one of their main wholesale clients. The restaurant menu focuses on creating exciting dishes from local seasonal produce. As well as benefiting from cheap transport costs, 
the restaurant has also received a lot of positive feedback from customers impressed with the quality of the cuisine. They're very local to us, so I heard just reputation, really, and we just popped up, um, had a look, and saw that their produce, again, being local, it's very fresh, so it, it, it's got that nice crispness. And if you start with a good product, you end up with one. So for us, it was really important that we could get small quantities or large. Um, we can get them very fresh, and uh, that will obviously enhance the restaurant sales that we do. People want to eat and know where their food's coming from. We want to be able to say that this isn't uh, factory reared, this is locally sourced, it's locally reared. Um, and that's really important to us. And, and again, it's got to be fresh, so, um, so we get the best out of it. So, yeah. Fresh I'm fruit and veg there. can quickly go past uh, its no, best. I'm but rather than throw away perfectly edible produce, Claire Esposito yes, helps the yes, shop yes, recycle. Yes. She buys all the old fruit and turns it into an array of edible dried treats through her business, Cut and Dried. The produce is then sold back to Crumbs to sell in the shop. Dried banana, beetroot crisps, apple purees, muesli and fruit sweets are among the collection. With green issues at the heart of the business, the Cut and Dried partnership makes Crumbs even more sustainable. We will take the product, um, we will use as much fruit as we can in the product and in everything else we make um, bird balls, uh, bird food, we uh, have composters that we constantly put into use and we will then use that product uh, at the end, we'll sell that. So absolutely nothing goes to waste. The local fair trade initiative has also helped Nick Tobat get his quail egg business off the ground. He puts the premium he receives for selling the eggs into making sure the birds have the best quality of life. There are three ranges we can, we can get. Um, they're fenced in big outside runs. Um, they've got a, a perspex roof on them. Um, like I say, there are three ranges you can get without, without them flying away. Um, they're all free to fly uh, and uh, we've got about 120 of them. So, um, and, most of those, I would say about uh, 90 of those are, um, are hens and we get an egg a day each from them, so yeah, they get really productive. With more suppliers and customers than ever, Crumbs is quickly outgrowing its current home. The shop already stocks over 65 different cheeses and a free-range meat counter that includes local sausages, steak, venison and fowl. James and Simon really want to make a positive difference to the way people shop in their community and to the local suppliers. Now in their third year of business, they've developed a long-term plan which could see the Crumbs Empire expand over the next five years. We want to produce a, what we call a food hall in the country with a butchery, a fishmonger, um, all the fruit and veg, the cheese, and a sort of delicatessen counter. The, the deal being that, that I would come to you as a customer and say, you can buy all your produce, your, 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 your sort of branded produce, your cornflakes or your loo roll, from the supermarket online. They'll deliver it to you. But the one thing you won't want to buy online is fresh produce, because you want to go and touch it and squeeze it and feel it. And so why don't you come to Crumbs, and we can sort of offer you all these sort of fresh produce. So you can still do your shopping in one place. So that's where we're aiming to. So we would like to have um, one sort of kind of, you know, kind of key central store, but to make the business really work, we'd like to have two or three maybe other satellite shops as well. We think it can really succeed, but um, I'm ambitious for this business um, to make the next step really, which is to just convince people that shopping for local produce is far better for everyone in this area, for these producers, for the, the economy. And, and, that, and it's in it, therefore it's an education. Crumbs is already a success story. Its owner's passion for British food has created a bazaar of delicious and colourful produce to rival the top-end supermarkets. But it's also a business built on traditional values, representing investment in the local farming community and economy. It has shown its customers the possibilities of the countryside, but it has also highlighted the fact that many of these excellent, small, rural producers are in danger of being lost. Crumbs is a shining example that supporting fair trade, local communities and the environment can go hand in hand with quality, freshness and taste.
Wednesday.